Oh my god, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. This PC cannot run Windows 11. So most probably you have seen this error a lot of times. So in this video, we are going to fix it. So we are going to use a tool which will remove all the restrictions. So you can install Windows 11 in any PC. So you can see that I'm giving you a link in the description. So open it and then download this file. So after you download, we have to open it. So let's open this file. And inside you will have a tool which is media creation tool .bat. So we are going to run it directly. So this is the official Microsoft media creation tool, but it is modified. So now here we have to select the windows version. So we are selecting the latest and then we have two options auto ISO or auto USB. So if we are selecting auto USB, it means we are creating a bootable USB or we can download the ISO file only. So let's continue with auto USB first and then we will continue with auto ISO as well. So it will open again and we select the latest windows version and auto USB. And then it will open the Microsoft media creation tool. So let's wait a little bit. And there we go. Our media creation tool is opening and here first it's going to download the windows 11 ISO file, which will be modified obviously. And then uh, it will uh, make it bootable. So we have to select our USB flash drive and now it has started downloading windows 11. So this process is going to take long and it depends on the internet connection, how fast your internet is. So I'm going to fast forward this video. So now you can see that the tool has automatically minimized. So let's fast forward the video and it will be downloaded very quickly for you. So now we are at 98%, 99 and now it's verifying the download. After this, it will start creating the bootable drive. So now creating Windows 11 media, it means that it is uh, making the USB bootable and it is copying all the files. So let's uh, fast forward the video again and uh, let's wait for the process to finish. So 62%. And if I go to the files app here, if I am refreshing, you can see that uh, the USB drive is getting uh, consumed. So we are having all the files. So these are temporary files for now because uh, the process hasn't finished. So we have to wait a little bit for the process to finish. So now it, it's at 66%. 82%. And uh, if I refresh again. You will see that the storage is being used here. So it's increasing. It's going to use at least six gigabytes. So you should have at least eight gigabytes of USB flash drive. Um, if you have 16, it's better. And now the tool has closed and uh, now it will start the other uh, processes, which includes the USB layout and then the uh, bootable file and all those things. So let's wait a little bit here. And you can see that uh, the the total size is 5395 and it has written 5369. So it has almost finished. Now it is creating the USB layout. Okay, image uh, servicing and management tool. Okay, now it is mounting the image. And now it, it is going to change the boot uh, boot image. So let's wait a little bit. Unmounting image. And now replacing the uh, boot.vim file. So it's in the sources. So it will replace it and then modify it according to our needs. So it will remove all the requirements, which are the minimum spec requirements. So then you can use it anywhere and here you can see that it has finished everything and it is saying press any key to exit. So you can press any key from the keyboard and it will exit. So let's close everything and uh, we will check our USB drive. So if we refresh again, you can see that uh, the space being used is now uh, more than how much it was before. So we have our bootable USB drive ready, which we, we will be testing it as well. So now if we open the tool again, Let's uh, run it and we are going to uh, check how we can create the ISO file only. 
so if you just want to create the iso file and then burn it later you can do it as well so we will select auto iso so let's select the windows version and auto iso and it will open the tool again so getting a few things ready and it will start downloading the iso file again and it is going to select the path on its own so you don't need to select anything so be patient and let's wait for it to download the iso file and now it has minimized so we have to wait for the process to finish so the uh, path is uh, in c colon esd so in download option it will create the temporary files so then later it will be converted into the iso file which will be here so let's wait for the process to finish so i'm going to fast forward the video again i hope you are understanding everything so if i refresh again it doesn't have anything till now so it just has the temporary file so it's on 63 percent okay so now it has finished and it is verifying the download so it after this it will start creating the iso file so creating windows 11 media so once it finishes this one we will have our iso file and then i will tell you how can you use the iso file so let's try to refresh again so now you can see that the size of the folder has increased already and now we have another temporary file but we, we still don't have our iso so it's 44 percent let's wait a little bit 76 and the tool has closed and now it will start the same process that we have uh, seen before so it will mount the uh, boot image and all those things so mounting image saving image okay and unmounting image so now it is creating the iso so the name of the iso and the path is c colon esd folder 1123h2 and consumer x64 english us language so it has finished and we can say press any key and i'm going to refresh here so here you will notice that we have our iso file and temporary files are empty so we are going to use this iso file now so i will show you how can you create the bootable usb so let's close everything and we are going to open google chrome and here rufus usb tool which you are already aware of so it's a bootable usb creator so let's download this one consent okay and uh, we'll download it for windows 4.6.exe and let's open it so no updates okay and the tool has opened so now you can see that our usb drive is already selected so select and we have to select our iso file here so we have to go to c colon and esd and let's select the iso file so it is scanning the image and okay it has loaded so all the parameters you can leave them as it is as they are and then you have to press start once you press start you will have the pop-up here which is saying remove requirements for 4 gigabytes plus ram secure boot tpm and there are some other things as well so if you want to remove requirements for an online microsoft account for example if you want to create a local account if you want to select region option and all those things so you can do them and then it will say that the bootloader has revoked and it can um, reduce the security and all those things and then the usb drive will be formatted and it will start creating our uh, bootable usb so this process will take around 10 to 15 minutes but i'm going to wait a little bit so that you can verify that the iso file is good so here you can see that the uh, bootable usb is being created so it, it will not have any errors and you just need to wait for it for around 10 minutes until it finishes so i'm going to cancel it and now i will show you how can you do it with uh, power iso as well so i have to end this task okay and now i'm going to open power iso so continue trial okay 
and we have to go tools and uh, USB tools and here create bootable USB drive and it will say you have to open as administrator so it will open again so continue trial okay and here we have to select our ISO file so let's select the same ISO file which is in C colon ESD and let's select the ISO but here power ISO it will not say anything about the requirements and all so if you are creating with Rufus it will ask uh, uh, for that pop-up which will say all the details that what do you want to remove and uh, all but power ISO it doesn't say anything so you have to just create it and uh, I will recommend using uh, Rufus which is saying all the uh, details in the pop-up so you can customize them and I have to end this task to close power ISO because I have already the, uh, the USB drive so now we are going to verify that our uh, USB drive which we made bootable is working so I'm going to create a new virtual machine here I already have three virtual machines but I'm creating the fourth one so custom and here I will select that I will install the operating system later Windows 11 okay and let's rename it a little bit so Windows 11 64 no minimum spec requirement okay like that and now we have to create a password to encrypt the drive so we can create anything okay next I am secure boot I'm going to keep it disabled okay and here you will notice that I am just giving number of processors to and core per processor is only one so it is a very minimal processor so if I go to my task manager let's uh, maximize it and performance and CPU here you can notice that I have 6 cores and 12 threads so logical processor are the threads so I have 6 core and 12 threads which is, uh, is much uh, more than what is required so I'm going to just use 2 so this is very minimal for Windows 11 and then uh, for the RAM memory, we are going to select less than 4, mega, uh, 4 gigabytes so that we have minimum requirements only. So 3700 is uh, very minimum for Windows 11. And then we have to use network um, address translation and all those. SST, OK, NVMe and create a new virtual disk. And I'm going to say 25 gigabytes only, which is very less minimum. And store into a single disk and our virtual machine is ready now so we have very minimum specs so if our usb bootable drive works here it means it will work in any system so now we have to power it on and i have to mount my usb so i'm going to say no and i have plugged my usb so once i plug it it will give me a pop-up so here you can see that connect to the virtual machine and windows 11 so it means my usb is connected with the virtual machine now i will go to removable devices and you can see that my silicon motion usb disk is connected with the virtual machine let's wait a little bit until it boots into my uh, usb drive so here it's trying to boot from the network because uh, we don't have any iso file selected which you can notice here so if i go to cd dvd i don't have any image selected so now it's trying to boot over pxc and i'm going to restart the virtual machine now so as soon as i restart let's go to restart power and restart as soon as I restart I have to mount my USB again because it will be disconnected and connected to the host so okay and I have to mount it mount it again most probably and now it is trying to boot from USB okay and here you can notice that uh, Windows 11 setup has started but obviously it's going to take long so I will fast forward the video and I will show you the main steps and I will keep verifying that I don't have any ISO selected which means I am booting just from the bootable USB drive. So let's wait a little bit for it. If you have any questions, if, if you don't understand anything, leave a comment in the comment section. And now if I go to settings, you can double check as well. If I go to CD DVD SATA, I don't have any ISO image. It means it is using the USB drive only. And here you will notice that the progress bar has started now. So let's wait a little bit only and now you can see that it is loading okay it means that our bootable usb drive is working so i'm going to maximize okay full screen mode and you can see that it is slow it's not very very fast like a normal computer but we have given it the minimum specs only so that we can verify so okay we are going to leave all the settings as it is and we press next you can see that it is slow so windows 11 pro or home any addition 
and now we have to accept the terms and condition after it. So let's accept the terms and conditions and we have to create a new disk. So it is saying that it cannot be installed in this drive because it's less than 52 gigabytes. But we are going to create and use it. Okay. So it's ready and let's go click next. And now it has started copying windows files. So this process will take some time so we have to fast forward the video again. And now it's 25% okay. And now if you notice one thing let's go to this PC and here you will notice that I don't have any USB drive connected. It means the device is only connected here. So once you are connecting to the virtual machine you have to lose access from the host machine or if you are using it in the host machine the USB cannot be mounted to the virtual machine. So this you should know. So it means that my USB drive is only connected in VMware workstation only. So now it's almost finished. So 97% and now I'm going to try one thing here. So most probably because it is already copying the Windows files uh, we can uh, disconnect our USB drive but I'm going to try it. Either it will stop and uh, interrupt the installation or it will keep continuing because I have never tried it. So this one has finished and uh, let's wait for the second step to start. And here you can see that it is getting the files ready for installation. So uh, once it uh, it is starting the process we will uh, disconnect our USB drive. So you can see that uh, it has started. It's 1%. 2. What I have to do now is I have to exit the full screen mode and uh, I have to go to re removable devices. So let's go to VM. Okay it's at 10%. So VM removable devices and here our USB drive we can say disconnect and connect to host. So it means it will be connected to the host machine. Now I am expecting that it will uh, abort the process. But after I waited a little bit it, keep, it kept continuing. So it means that the files that it needed for the installation are already copied in step 1. So it means you can connect the uh, disconnect the bootable USB drive. So let's wait a little bit for it to finish so that we verify that our installation is successful. And now here you can notice again that if I go to CD DVD I don't have any ISO image. Which clearly means that I am only using the bootable USB device only. So uh, this you should know that if we have any image mounted it will use that image but we don't have any image mounted and uh, we are just using the bootable USB drive. So this process kept continuing and uh, let's wait a little bit and since we are here so it's 98%. And now step 3 has finished as well. So once it finishes this step 4 it will restart. So let's wait a little bit. So installing updates. Okay. And now step 4 has finished as well. Now it will ask us to restart. So let's restart. And now our virtual machine will restart. And if I'm going to settings again, the same thing. No ISO image. And our windows is loading. So let's go full screen. And here it will start uh, uh, preparing the services and it will get uh, all the things ready. So it is loading. Okay. Obviously it's going to be slow because we, we don't have uh, enough specs. Now here it is starting the services and after this it will say getting devices ready. So let's wait a little bit. So getting devices ready it is 50% okay. And uh, then it will uh, keep continuing all the initial setup what you have selected from the um, ISO image or when you created the bootable USB. So I hope you have understood everything and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section and if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.